Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. So we're going to do the update for Same Pan Last Year Project Pan. And um, this runs from January the 8th to December the 8th of 2024 and is created by Shelly from Unapologetically Shelly. Shelly, I hope you're doing great. Um, so this Project Pan is all of the events throughout the year and there's also bonus prompts as well. I have brought in a whole page worth of prompts and I, I'm also going to be bringing in today, <coughs> excuse me, a second page worth of prompts. So I'm bringing in everything that I want to bring in and I'm just going to have them all in until December 8th or like have all the prompts in as uh, whatever, you know what I mean. I'm bringing them all in and then whatever I get through, I get through. So excellent. I'm really excited about this. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. Let's go ahead and talk about um, the prompts that I currently have in and then I will show you guys what I'm bringing in. Sorry for the glare on my glasses. Um, for New Year's Day, January 1st, it's a new item and I'm bringing in the Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter in Enlighten. And this one is really, really bright. I have used this three times so far and look at it. Like, look at the glare. Holy smokes. This is no joke. It is super, super blinding. Like on the face, it looks like like white, like it looks like glazed. Um, I'm supposed to use this 10 times, but I've only used it the three, so I am definitely gonna be continuing with that. <clears throat> for Chinese New Year, February the 10th, which is Year of the Dragon for 2024. Um, I brought in, I haven't pulled all the items out, so you'll have to excuse me as I grab them. It's just I have limited space right now. But this is the um, Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter in the shade 201 Daybreak Glimmer. And I've used this four out of 15 times. It's very beautiful. I absolutely love it. It's again blinding, like very, very blinding. And I would repurchase this. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I can't swatch every single thing today, but you can see the tones are quite different. This one matches me a lot better than the other one. The other one is very icy and white on my skin and I'm very yellow based. So this is really, really lovely for me. And then for Black History Month, February, it's a bomb product. So black owned makeup brand and I brought in Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge. <clears throat> wow. Blushed Rouge Volume 4 Duo Blush. And I want to use this one 10 times and I have used it a total of two times so far. And it's really lovely, very, very pigmented, but really, truly lovely. I adore that. And for Groundhog Day, February the 2nd, it is a repeat purchase, something you're doomed to pan forever. And I brought in a MAC blush in the shade Sunset Beach, which looks like this. It's gorgeous, very similar to the last one but I just swirl them together and it gives me this absolutely stunning, beautiful pink blush. Really gorgeous. It's actually really pigmented on the face. Really love that. And there's tons of product in here. There's 14 grams, 14 grams. That's right. Holy smokes. So that one, I want to use a total of five times and I have used it two. And for Mardi Gras, February 13th, something with green, gold, and or purple carnival packaging um, or color, whatever. And I brought in this one, of course, because it has green, gold, and purple Mardi Gras. And it is the MAC Pruinza Schuler Blush in Ocean City. And this one I haven't used at all yet. This one I feel like would be more summer-esque. So I'm, I'm going to use it, but haven't used it yet. <laughs> Then for Mar no, Mar I already did that one. We already did that one. Next Valentine's Day, February 14th, red, pink, heart shaped or love themed. And I had brought in the ColourPop blush in Cupid's Bow, which was the heart packaging and it was a super light lavender. I decluttered it because it's far too light for my skin. It did deepen when you put it on, but <clears throat> excuse me, it was just not, I'm trying to, <sighs> I'm trying to thin my collection out without just decluttering for the sake of decluttering. But that one, I felt like I was comfortable letting go because I have used it and I did realize that it was really, really light. And I have plenty of purpley and pinky blushes to choose from. So I was okay letting that one go. 
Um, also, holiday Christmas, December 25th, which is a MAC lipstick in New York Apple. It's a red lipstick. So something that was like Christmas themed. I'll put it here. Something Christmas themed. And I love this. It looks so good. I've used it multiple times, but I want to complete that. So I'm not weighing it or anything. I'm just using it until it's gone. But you can see it is no longer brand new. Definite usage there. Then for Boxing Day, December 26th, a budget item. And I brought in ColourPop's Flexitarian. Let me put it over here again. Flexitarian, and this started at 27.93 and it's now at 27.9. I've only used it about three times, but you can see a dip is starting to form. Wow, that is blinding. <laughs> um, Danny says from Danny's Makeup, she says this uh, stays creamy for a long time. So I'm happy to hear that because I will have this for a long time. So that made me really happy to know that it actually lasts for a while and stays. And then for St. Stephen's Day in Ireland, it's a budget item as well. And I brought in the e.l.f. lip plumping glo gloss in Mocha, Twisted Mocha. And this is a massive packaging. I'm going to be honest. I always want to tell you guys when I figure something out. It's huge. I don't have another lip gloss near me. Um, Let me grab one because I do want to make sure that I show you what I mean when I say this. If I have one that's close by. I probably won't have one super handy, will I? No. Okay, let me grab one from my drawer then. That'll be easier for me to do. But okay, so this is the Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Gloss. And then there's this one from e.l.f. Okay, the one from Patrick Ta, it's called 2cc's and it has 9 mils. Okay, 9 mils. So they look pretty comparable, right? It looks like this one's just a little bit thinner and taller and this one is wider and shorter. They look pretty com comparable. So this one has nine mil milligram, no, milliliters, nine mils. And this one from e.l.f. has 2.7. 2.7. No wonder it's so cheap. So if you multiplied the cost of this, divided it, or took the, the total cost of this, divided it by the mills, and then multiplied that by nine mills, you would get the accurate cost of this against the value of this, and I bet you it would be very close in cost. So is it more feasible to buy drugstore? I will be checking this on all the things that I'm buying from now on. But anyhow, I've made it down to here already, and I just started this. So, and I'm using a bunch of other lip glosses anyways in other projects. So I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. Check your unit cost because this was incredibly deceiving for me. I was like, excuse me, how many mils only? And then um, <laughs> we were at 32.23 milli or grams, pardon me, last update. And we're now at 32. So I've used quite a bit of that. For birthday item, I brought in the Tasha Denona Love Face Palette. I have not used that yet. Presents, uh, something that was a gift. I brought in the Glamlight Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Base Power Eyeshadow Palette, pardon me, and I have not used that. Special Occasion, something that you're saving for a special occasion, which was the Makeup Geek Pigment in Utopia. I have not used that. The Women's History Month for March, which is female owned brand. I brought in the Fenty Beauty Mascara and Hella Thick, and I'm almost done that one. So that should be done by the next update, and I want to complete it. For spring, which is spring palette or an item from last spring, I brought in the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation in 130 True Beige. I used it five times and I decided to declutter it. I decluttered both of my L'Oreal Infallible Powders because I just felt like they were too thick of a powder. It was too opaque on top of my already existing cream foundation that was... It was too much on my face. It made me look like I had a mask on. So I didn't need those anymore and I decided to pass them along. Then for St. Patrick's Day, which is March 17th, um, something small, pot of gold, green leprechaun item. And I decided to bring in something small. And I brought in the Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation in the shade light beige. 
and you can see I'm all the way all the way down to here so I'm almost done this foundation which is so great I'm excited because I could potentially have a foundation now yes I know it's teeny tiny but one foundation is one foundation so I'm really excited to have that much done and I hope if I can't get it done by next update for sure will be the one after but I'm I'm shooting for next update and then we have um where are we here April Fool's Day, April 1st, which is an item you feel like a fool for buying. So I am just going to open this up here. I actually brought in an item that I was unsure about. I felt completely stupid when I brought it in. The ABH Cosmos eyeshadow palette. Sorry, something was just, I'm hearing something here. Um, I absolutely love this. I, I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. I wore it twice of the three times that I brought it in for. And I honestly want to wear it all the time. I it's so nice but I have other eyeshadow palettes that I'm focusing on but I would bring that in for, I was gonna put a one in front of that three because I'm like I need to wear it more but nope I need to work on the other stuff and I'll go back to it at some point but two of three uses <laughs> then for Easter which is March 31st it's a pastel item and I brought in the eyeliner from ABH called crybaby not ABH Colourpop, very different brands. Colourpop eyeliner in the shade Crybaby, which is a pastel purpley color, and I have it on my waterline today. You can definitely see, I'll just take these off. You can definitely see the color and it's sticking, which is pretty impressive for a super inexpensive item. If they didn't dry up so fast, I would consider rebuying. Then for Earth Day, April 22nd, an eco-friendly item. I brought in the Ilia Multi-Stick in the shade Dreamer, which is here. And I want to use this to 10 times. So this is all that I have left. I'm actually getting through this pretty good, even though I've only used it once. You can see I've used it quite a bit in previous projects, so I feel like this is something that I could get out this year or early next year if I really put my mind to it. I tell myself that I'll probably have it for five years. <laughs> then for National Makeup Day, September 10th, any item you want to celebrate. And I brought in the MAC blush in the shade This Could Be Fun, which is absolutely stunning. This is probably my favorite MAC blush of all time. It's gorgeous. And it is a matte formula. And I've so far used this four of the 10 times. And then I have the collab, which is a collab item. And I brought in the MAC lipstick collab with Nicki Minaj. Oh, I didn't weigh this one. So this one started at 19.68. And this is where we're at now. And it looks like this. And I want this completed, but now we're at 19.36. So I have used it quite a bit. That makes me really happy. So I am just going to start now on the items that I want to bring in uh, from page two, but I just want to move some stuff away so that I have more space. And I'm sorry, I'm not editing. So you're going to see all of this havoc in its glory. Okay. So for page two, I'm bringing in the rest of the prompts that I wanted to bring in. And I brought in Gucci Flora perfume sample, which is, oh, it's here. Okay. Thought it was around the corner here. Um, this is the Gucci Flora sample and I have decanted it into this. Kim sent me this one. And so I have it in there and I want to complete that. So once the decanted product is done this will be counted as an empty and will count against my low buy and my makeup rehab then for Cinco de Mayo May 5th which is use a five pan palette five times I brought in the MAC eyeshadow palette in the shade it says snowball eye compact rose gold so it looks like this so beautiful and it is a five pan, but I, I used it because I probably won't be using the shade. So I'll be using the other five, but I haven't used it yet because obviously it wasn't brought in. So the next one I want to do is for Mother's Day, which is May 14th. And it's um, mom of any kind. So you can celebrate something that is for a mom, not celebrate something for a mom of any kind. If you are a mom of any kind, a pet mom, a plant mom, a child mom, anything, 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 uh, pick an item. 
whatever you want to work on. So I'm going to bring any loose powder because I love working on these and I love trying new loose powders. And this is a Canadian brand called Quo Beauty. It's very beautiful, holographic, beautiful, light pink packaging. Even the plastic, I think, at the bottom. It looks like it, no, it's clear, but because of the packaging on top, it gives it a pink effect. But this is brand new. I've never tried it before, and I would like to use this 20 times. So I will take the sifter stuff, like the sticker off, and it's in the shape of a Q, and I will try that. Then for Pride Month, June, the Pride Collection or a rainbow item. I'm bringing in a Hemp's Beauty, Hemp's Beauty, <laughs> oh my gosh, a Hemp's Lotion in Love Out Loud, and it's a mini body moisturizer, so I'll be bringing this in for Pride Collection. Then for Blushing Brides, um, it's a bride or blush, uh, wow, a blush or blush palette. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so I am going to be bringing in the Lancome Blush Satil in Brun Roche. Hold on one second. Is this the one? Yeah. Okay, so I have to try and figure out where all these things are. They're in here. This is what it looks like, and this was gifted to me from Jaylon, and this was gifted to me from Danny, from Danny's Makeup, but this is from Jaylon, and I wanted to try this because it has given such, okay, I'm going to have to hold this because I don't want the brush to fall out, but it's a beautiful peachy, okay, it fell out anyway. <laughs> anyway, it looks like a beautiful peachy nude shade but yeah I want to bring that one in for five uses and then I also want to bring in for National Best Friends Day which is June 8th um, so an item from or that reminds you of your best friend or something that your best friend gave you and I'm bringing in this Kiko Milano lipstick mini that Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock sent me and it looks like that and I know I can get through that no problem so I'm bringing that in to try plus I love Kiko products then for summer reminds you of summer or something you got last summer i'm bringing in the isle of paradise medium tanning drops now i don't know where those are i think they're in here yeah so i'm going to bring in these and the goal for this one is complete for canada day whoop, whoop, july 1st red or white and i'm bringing in everything's all over <laughs> A MAC lipstick in the shade Proud to be Canadian. And of course, it's a beautiful red lipstick. It's a very, very bright, beautiful red lipstick. So I will be wearing that. Then for 4th of July, woo -woo, to my US friends, product from an indie brand. And I'm going to bring in a small palette of indie eyeshadows. And have I picked those out? I think I picked them out, but I'm not sure. So I don't want to, oh, I did. It's right here, I think. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> I'm so not prepared for this. But these are the ones I'm going to be bringing in. So there's 18 shades here, and I want to be able to use these. There's both um, Glaminatrix, Shine by SD for sure, and Terra Moons in here. So I'm going to bring these in, and I want to use these a total of 30 times. Can I do it? <laughs> For sparklers, it's a sparkly item, and I want to bring in the Bella Butte Bar Loose cr Loose Multichrome. What does this say? What did I write here? Loose Multichrome in the shade Sundew. Now, where do I have that? I don't know where I have. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where that is, and I have a bunch of stuff everywhere here. So, uh, let me see if it's in here. Oh, yeah. I am a little put together, but like I don't realize I am and I get all like worried about it. So I will show you what this is. Oh, I just got it everywhere. But this is gorgeous. So this is obviously right here. Really beautiful. It's like it's way shinier than you're seeing, but it's absolutely stunning. So I will be bringing that in for a total of oh my gosh, there's glitter literally everywhere. Oh my gosh. Um, for five uses for dog days of summer, July 3rd to August 11th, something hot and sultry. And I'm going to bring my Sephora liquid lipstick in the shade 01 red. Absolutely stunning. 
For Latin Heritage Month, September 15th to October 15th, a Latinx brand. And I'm bringing the Melt Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder in the shade Fair, which you guys, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I need it. I need to try it. And I also told Kim to buy it because as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is a Kim product. So um, absolutely stunning. It's too thick there, but it's just basically like a light dusting on the skin and it gives you that subtle glow. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. What a beautiful finishing powder. Okay. So I want to use that one 30 times for the sweetest day, October 21st. Sweet item or an item from your sweetie. And I'm bringing in the Milk Makeup Hydro and Hydro Grip and Set Refresh Spray. So I don't know. Maybe this was, I'm saying it's from my sweetie because literally we just have a joint account. So I'll just say he bought me this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sweet but anyways um I want to complete this and then Halloween October 31st Halloween themed or a release or something spooky and I'm bringing in oh my gosh you guys I'm bringing in the Smashbox Master of Horrors Chucky Cream Eyeshadow how awesome is that I love it I love it Okay, and that one I want to use five times for Day of the Dead, November 1st and 2nd, a graveyard or Day of the Dead project pan item. So I'm doing, of course, Day of the Dead, which is two different things. So I'm doing a clay skull, which is clay mask, um, a mask sort of any kind, any kind of mask. I'm actually doing one prompt, sorry. It's 14B. And I'm bringing in the Bloom Superpower Pore Clarifying Clay Mask, and it's way in the bottom here. I saw it earlier. So I just have to grab this, but it's this massive thing right here. And my goal is to complete this crazy, absolutely crazy. So that's what I'll be doing for this item. And then for, where are we here? USA Thanksgiving, November 23rd, which is thankful to have in your collection. I, I love it. I love it. Um, and I'm bringing in the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Pumpkin Spice, which is right here. And I want to complete this. And I will show you where I'm at right now. So I still have a long ways to go. But that will stay in until the end or until I get to it. And then... Um, for Black Friday, November 24th, Black Friday or Crazy Sale item. And I'm bringing in the Cali Ray Free Dream and Skin Wellness Diffusing Skin Tint in the shade The Two, I think it's called. The Two, a very light, a very light dream. Anyway, I bought this fully intending to do a review on it, but I'm just going to use it and see what I think. And apparently it says shake it like you mean it. So you have to really shake it. It says prickly pear hydration. Buildable. We will see. So this one I would like to use 15 times. And then for winter, a winter themed item. And I want to bring in the Huda Winter Highlighter Palette. Now I don't know where I put that one. Um, everything's falling. So I'm just going to say I'm bringing that palette in. Don't know where I put it. It's in one of my drawers and I'll show you guys in the next video. <laughs> so that's everything. I know this was super chaotic and there's a lot of items coming in and I'm talking about a lot of items, but once I cross them off, the list will get smaller and smaller. And I really just want to touch everything that I can this year and do it as early as possible so that I can see what I want to keep in my collection and what I want to get rid of. So that is everything. Please don't forget to check out Shelly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and leave a wonderful comment below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.